Hello, I'm Steve here from iConnect and I'm also here with Michael and in this video we're going to be doing a demonstration of an out-of-box assembly for the customer display. Alright, so um, right here we have the normal iConnect register with the back cover removed. Um, we have some screws here, some screws there. Um, this is the mount for the customer display. This is the customer display itself with a USB cable attached. And uh, lastly, here is the disassembled back cover. All right, so now we're going to be going through the steps to attach the customer display to the register. All right, so here we're going to start with attaching the mount to the customer display. What you'll find uh, during the unboxing experience is that the, might, the, the mount might actually be attached to the customer display, but you may have to remove it in order to stick the USB cable in there. In, that, um, in our case, that's what we did, so now we're reattaching the mount with the black screws, just so we can um, mount it back onto the register and have the cable in there too. Alright, we're all set there, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get the USB cable plugged into the main register. Alright, now let's go ahead and try to mount it. So there's going to be four screw holes that we want to line up over here. Can tilt the screen back to make it a little easier to do this part. Okay, so that's two down and just two more to go. As soon as we get that tightened up there.
All right, so um, now we're going to just attach the back cover to make it look nice and neat. I'm gonna want to make sure we really squeeze the cable back there just so we can get the cover on properly. Okay, so now we have the customer display attached to the iConnect register, and that ought to do it.